Hi, I'm Chris Hall, I'm the Head of Computing, Business and Languages, and I'm here to talk to you today about the Cambridge Technical Course. The Te Cambridge Technical Course is a vocational course, it's an IT qualification, and it's great for students who are thinking about going into the world of IT, even through, either through further study at university, or to leave and go into the world of IT after A-levels. It has the same UCAS tariff as any other A-level, so there's no need to worry about that. And in fact, for students, the UCAS tariff is, is really quite generous. There are two compulsory units in the first year. Unit 1, Fundamentals of IT, will give you an understanding into hardware, software, um, and how IT is used in the real world. It's a, it's a very practical unit in which we try to make sure that you get the opportunity to do diagnosis and testing um, in the way in which IT professionals would in the real world. Unit 2, um, is uh, global information and it's about how um, information is used on a global scale, how businesses use information, the kind of users there are and real world um, IT problems and solutions that, that span beyond the national um, boundaries of our country. So it's a fascinating couple of units and will prepare you thoroughly to go into the second year. The second year can find prizes of three practical units and to be honest with you we'll usually start the, the, the first one of these just after your exams, actually towards the end of year one. And this is unit six and this is about application design. And in this you get to make an interactive uh, web page project and you will learn some JavaScript which will make your um, web pages interactive and you'll get to consider how users will interact with the product that you've made um, and you'll learn some very handy web design and authoring um, skills which can be applied in the real world and which are bang up to date. Um, we then move on to do Unit 15 and Unit 15 is a game making unit and we will use the Game Maker Suite and we have a commercial license for Game Maker and what you'll get to do is to produce a prototype game uh, which actually you could go on to develop further and you could uh, get to um, produce as a standalone game if you, if you so desire and, and roll it out for your own use on PCs and phones etc. But the point of the game making unit is it introduces you to logical thinking, it gets you to think about sequence and it gets you to think about um, how um, IT products and in this instance again uh, suit the users um, and meet particular requirements. And depending on your interest there's also the opportunity to do some programming if you want to but if programming is not your thing that actually you don't really need to be able to program to succeed at this unit. Unit 9 has been very carefully chosen to follow this. It's a um, product development unit and it's based on the previous unit where we take much of the material that you've already produced for Unit 15, the game making unit, and apply it in a new context. There are a number of reasons for doing this. The first reason is that actually the pressure times in this, in this um, course, particularly in year two, are towards the beginning of the course. And the unit has been chosen to ensure that the pressure is relieved okay, as you get closer and closer to exam time. Okay, and therefore you don't have to focus quite so much on your IT because um, by the time it comes to your exams, actually everything should be done, dusted and, and signed off. Okay? Um, the other reason for the, using the project development unit is actually it gives students the opportunity to explore how projects are managed in real life um, and it gives you the opportunity to understand you know, the constraints uh, of project management should you want to go in that direction in the future. As I said, it's got an excellent UCAP tariff, tariff particularly for students and I would recommend it for that. It's a great hands-on practical course. You'll get up to the minute skills um, both in terms of game making for this level, web design, you'll also get to understand, as I said, about project management and the fundamentals of IT on a global and international level. And it's an extremely good course for going on to further study and it's one that I would like to thoroughly recommend to you.